Hey everyone, this is Stephen James from Project Life Mastery. Today I'm going to show you how to make money by publishing books on Amazon. And I'm going to show you how this business model works. I'm going to walk you through the steps, step by step, so that you can learn how it works and get started with it. And I'm going to give you the strategy of what's working right now today, not five years ago, what's working right now today and will continue to work long term in the future. Because I'm not going to give you any short term gimmick or trick or strategy or loophole that's going to work today and not work tomorrow. I want to make sure that you build a sustainable, long term and legitimate business. Now I've been publishing books on Amazon for over nine years. I've been at this for a very long time. I've been through the ups and downs. I see how Amazon has changed and evolved and how the opportunity has changed. I've also made a lot of mistakes. I've had failures. I've also had a lot of success. And I've even created courses and programs that helped tens of thousands of other people just like you get started in this business and build their own publishing business and make money online from Amazon. And I started, this is one of the ways, you know, I was in a position nine years or so ago exploring different opportunities online. I was trying to figure out how to make money online, as I'm sure you've been there before yourself and exploring opportunities. And Amazon really appealed to me and made a lot of sense, number one, because Amazon's the biggest online retailer in the world. And they're going like this, they're growing massively, and who wouldn't want to partner and be in alignment with a company that's going like this? You know, a rising tide raises all ships. So if you publish and sell on Amazon, you benefit as Amazon grows and they're not slowing down. They're one of the biggest companies in the world. And so that made sense to me. Then also, Amazon has so much trust. You know, people love to buy and shop from Amazon. Um, you know, people typically buy a lot of products on Amazon and also the book industry is a massive industry. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. People love to read books. It's a recession proof business because regardless of the economy, there's always going to be people that love books and read books and books are low ticket products. And so it's not like people can't afford books. That's not the reason why people don't read them. Um, so books can always do well in every economy and remains to be one of the best opportunities right now for someone to get started online. And one of the reasons why I say that and why I often still recommend people to get started publishing books on Amazon is because it's a very newbie friendly business. It's very simple. It's not that complex. It's not that technical. Anybody can do it. My grandma can do it. You know, a, a kid in high school can do it. It's not a complex business that requires a lot of skills to be able to do. Let's put it that way. Um, it's a business that's pretty simple. It's relatively fast compared to other business models, although I'm hesitant to say there's no get rich quick here. I want to make that very clear. You don't, no, there's no success that you get fast and easily. There's still work and time, but relative to other business models and opportunities, if you had a book cover today and you had a book file on your hard drive, you could log into your Amazon publishing account, upload the book, upload the cover, put in the title, put in the description, Hit publish and that book could be live available for sale on Amazon tomorrow and start making you money. So the speed in which you can implement, of course, it does take time to create a book and create a cover, but compared to other business models out there, a physical product with inventory and shipping and all the logistics of that can take more time. Now there's more potential in other businesses, I'd say. Physical product business on Amazon, affiliate marketing, other businesses you can make more money from it. But when it comes to the complete beginner that wants to get started, learn the skills of business and marketing to get started with, but also maybe just wants to make a couple hundred bucks a month, a side income or a couple thousand bucks a month, publishing books is a great introductory and it also opens up the door to other business models out there because here's the thing, here's where a lot of publishers go wrong. They look at their book business as just a book business and that's all it is. And it's just publishing books on Amazon, they make money doing that, and, and that's fine. That's a great, that could be a good business. But the problem with that, you have to sell a lot of books to make a lot of money because books are lower ticket products. I mean, your Kindle book might be less than $10, a paperback book might be less than 20 bucks, and so you gotta have a lot of volume to make a lot of money from that, and that's, a, that's kind of a business that's so dependent on Amazon, which I don't like. But instead, the realization that I had that really opened things up for me was realizing a book is a front end offer. People buy books because they're inexpensive. They're mostly impulse purchases. People buy books, it doesn't take as much to market or sell it. You know, a higher ticket product, a course or a product that might sell for $50, $100, $200, $500, $1,000 or more, it's a lot harder to sell that. It's a high ticket product, right? You've gotta have really great marketing, you gotta have success stories and testimonials, good copywriting, a great funnel, maybe sell it on a webinar over the phone or in a video sales letter. There's a lot more involved in selling something high ticket. A low ticket product like a book, 
people buy it based on the cover and the title. And then maybe they look at the reviews, if it's got a lot of reviews, provide social proof, it's a shortcut in their brain, they automatically assume must be a great book, they'll buy it because of that. So it doesn't take as much to sell it, and unfortunately one of the problems and challenges that you'll face as an author or a publisher is because typically when things are either free or very inexpensive, then not as many people actually even read the book. You know, I think the statistics are less than 10% of people that buy a book read past the first chapter, and that's a whole different challenge, right? And that's why I do like higher ticket products because sometimes when you invest more, you pay more, you pay more attention, you're more committed to it. Anyways, I digress. But it's a great business, but when you realize that your book is a front-end offer and you're acquiring customers from people that are buying and reading your books, what you funnel people into on the back end is really where you make most of the money in your business. That's where a lot of publishers get it wrong. They don't understand that because they're not, they, don't under, they don't have the marketing mind. They don't have a, a funnel, a strategy in mind behind the book that they're publishing. So when someone buys the book, anytime anyone buys any of your products, they go through it, they benefit, they say, thank you so much, I really enjoyed the book. Every customer, every person that you're in contact with that you acquire, they're gonna, they're gonna wanna go to the next level. They're gonna, you know, what else do you have to offer? Is there something more? Is there, a, a, I have this new problem, how can you help solve that for me? How can you help me get to where I wanna go? Our job, your job as an entrepreneur, as a publisher, someone that wants to build a business, our job is to solve people's problems at a profit, to identify how we can solve their problem. A book on Amazon is one part of a solution to their problem. And then once they buy that and you add value to them, how can you funnel them into the next thing? Build your email list and build the back end and maybe that opens up the door to affiliate marketing, promoting other products, earning commission, physical products, repeat customers. Because it's hard to acquire a customer for the first time. It can be very expensive to do that, difficult. A lot of effort goes into that. But it's a lot easier to sell someone that's already bought from you again and again and again and again and build a long-term relationship with that person. So that's the strategy, the mindset I want to kind of give you where a lot of publisher, publishers kind of get it wrong, in my opinion. But I want to plant that seed and just kind of let you know that your book is one part of your business, right? The business is more than just a book. Hopefully you have that mindset and you see that as an opportunity that you can publish a book but really funnel people into other parts of your business and make more money from that. Now let me walk you through some of the steps. Really the first step of publishing on Amazon. And by the way, when I say Amazon book publishing, there's three kind of parts of that. A Kindle book, which is an ebook. People buy and download and read those on their Kindle e-reading devices. They can also download it through the Kindle app on their phone or on their, their tablet or even on their computer. So that's a Kindle ebook. And then there's paperback and hardcover books. Um, so there's a, a kind of a different market there. There's some people that just only read ebooks, like myself. I've got a Kindle reader. There's other people they don't like ebooks, they want to read a, a paperback hardcover book. There's still a huge market for that. And then there's also audiobooks as well. Okay, so um, the Audible platform, people like to listen. So there's different modalities that people like to consume information from. So when I say Amazon book publishing, Amazon's the core platform, but you can publish the same book in different formats and reach more people that way and of course make more money. Now really the first thing you gotta do is you gotta identify your niche, okay? This is the market, the topic that you're gonna publish a book on. Now, pretty simple. I mean, if you go to a bookstore, you know, if you remember bookstores, Barnes and Nobles or Chapters, depending where you live, you walk in, and I love bookstores or even a library because there's millions of books, but they're all categorized in different categories. And so, for me, I personally love self-development. I walk, I gravitate towards the self-help section, and relationships and spirituality and business and marketing and a variety of topics there. And each, each niche, okay, has a sub-niche, okay? There's like a market within a market. You can be more specific or you can be more broad. But the first step of what you gotta do is you gotta identify what niche should I publish a book on on Amazon. Now, the big mistake that a lot of people make is they just have an idea, oh, you know, I should publish a book on this, how to start a restaurant. And so they write the book and they create the book and they publish the book and then they actually find out there's not enough demand there for that because they didn't do enough research. So before you go through the rest of the steps, the whole process, you gotta really make sure that you pick a great, great niche and you do your research on that to see if there's a demand. Are there people searching for this and already buying books on this topic? 
whatever it might be. Are they buying books on it? How big is that market? How big is the opportunity? How much money are these other books making? There's actually tools and software that can actually give you that research and save you time for that. I share that more in some of my courses. But when you research that, then that will give you the size of the market and how much money you can make. Because you don't want to spend the time to create something and then just find out people are not looking for it. They're not searching for it. They don't need it. You know, and then that's going to be an uphill battle, make it very challenging for you. You can make your job and your life so much easier when you do great research right from the very beginning. Okay? So you've got to identify the niche. I often try to think what are passions that I have or interests that I might have? What are books that I already typically kind of read? The topics, and maybe you can ask yourself those questions too. What are things that you already learn or into? And understand that that can open up an opportunity for you there. So there has to be a demand, there has to be potential that you can make money from it. And I always recommend to brainstorm, come up with a few ideas, look around on Amazon, see other categories, other books that are selling, and come up with a list, okay? Just come up with a list for now. And then later you can narrow that down through your research process. Now the next step is to create a title. Okay, you gotta create a title for your book that's sexy, that's gonna sell. Um, something that evokes an emotion in the person and gets their attention, hooks them, right? Gets their attention and makes them want to read more. That makes them want to buy your book and check it out. And usually that's a book, if it's nonfiction, something that provides a benefit, okay? Because people buy benefits and if you don't provide a benefit for people in terms of how to X, Y, Z, how to overcome procrastination, how to set goals and achieve what they want, achieve their dreams, how to manage their time, Whatever, those are benefits that people want and they're searching for and they're buying a nonfiction book because they believe the book is going to help them solve that problem, right? So going back to what I said, our job is to solve people's problems at a profit, okay? If you can effectively communicate the benefit, then they're going to want to buy the book because it can help them solve, you know, get that benefit and solve that problem they have. Fiction books are a little bit different. You got to understand that market. They're more buying the book for entertainment to fantasize and enter into a different world and to have pleasure from that process. But either way, regardless of what kind of book it is, you've got to brainstorm and come up with the title of your book that will get attention, that will hook someone, that when they see that title, they're going to immediately say, I want that. I want that. And you've got to look at the other books on Amazon to think, how can I be a little bit different here or stand out? Okay? So, all of these, I'm giving you an overview, overview of the steps. There's more creativity and uh, technique, I guess, to some of these steps, but I want to give this to you for, um, you know, right now so that you understand the process first. The next step is to create a cover for your book. Now, your cover, your title and the cover are really the most important things, but your cover is even more important. Your cover is the most important, the first thing that people are going to see as they're browsing through Amazon. Um, kind of like YouTube. I mean, if you watch this right now on YouTube, most likely you saw the thumbnail first. The thumbnail is a graphic, it's an image, it'll get your attention. You usually see that first and then the, the title, okay? Um, and it's the same thing with the book. And so your, your, your cover also has to hook someone, get their attention, stand out from the other ones, be professional, be high quality, you know, some of the basics with that. Now, the great thing with the cover, you're, you're probably thinking, I don't know any graphic skills. I don't know how to create one. Well, you can actually do that pretty inexpensively. There's websites like Fiverr.com. Okay, let's write that out for you. www.fiverr.com. You can find a graphic designer there to design and create a cover for you for as low as five or ten dollars. I mean, it's so inexpensive to get this stuff done today. One of the reasons why, like, book publishing is that it's fairly inexpensive compared to many other businesses out there. So that's why I kind of recommend it to some people that just want to learn, get started, make some money and don't have a lot of money to invest. It's a great business for that. So that's how you can get a cover created. Now, a tip for you, when I get a cover created, I don't just hire one person, especially because you can get it done inexpensively. I hire like three people and I want to give each a designer see what they can come up with and I can pick and choose from that and have more options and I can pick the best one that I like the most or I could even test them. I can test them on Amazon you know, and actually see which one is actually converting better. The next step is to get a book, to create a book. Now you might be thinking, hey, I, I don't know how to write. I'm not a professional writer. I'm not an author. Me neither. I can write. I don't mind writing but it's not really my core skill set and competency. 
You don't need to. I mean, if you want to write, you can. Great. That can be a great advantage for you. But the real money in building your, your business is working smart, not hard. Working on the business from a high leverage position, not in the business. So what can allow you to scale your, your, your business is instead working with other authors or hiring ghostwriters to write the book for you. So you can pay a fee for a ghostwriter and they can write a book for you. They can do the research, they're maybe the expert, they have the expertise, the knowledge on that topic. You pay them up front and it's, it's no different than paying a graphic designer for their cover. You own the rights to the cover just the same way you pay a, an author or a writer to write the book for you. That's what they do, that's what they love. And depending on the length of the book and everything involved in it, they'll give you a price and you can get a book written for you. Or with the skills I'm providing for you, what I'm now teaching inside my, my new course, is with the skills, when you know how to publish, traditional publishing companies, they work with authors. And usually they do a split, a 50-50 split in some cases. But honestly, a lot of publishing companies, the big ones, Penguin Books and Simon Schuster, often they take 80 or 90% of all the income. The author only gets like 10%. It's pretty insane because really the publishing and the marketing is the most valuable part of it. And that is a new business opportunity where you can make money and royalties and profit from that by handling the publishing because there's a lot of writers out there that are great at writing. They have no idea when it comes to publishing and marketing. That's not their skill. They're an artist. They're good at that and you can partner with them and that's one thing that I start teaching inside my course. So you can get a book created from you. You can find writers. You could write it yourself. Of course, it has to be a great quality book. You have to proofread it, format it for Kindle and paperback, um, and just make it a great quality. And the great thing about books is that you can also improve it as time goes on. So what holds a lot of publishers back is a perfectionism mentality. They think everything has to be perfect. Now I've been there before myself. Nothing will ever be perfect. In fact, the way you perfect something is you put it out there, you get feedback, right? You get reviews and you ask people what they think. And you get that feedback and then you make it better and you perfect it over time. Okay, that's what I've learned and that's, that, that gets you into action. But of course your book still has to be good. Um, now the next thing, next step. Publish book. You gotta publish your book. And by the way, if you're enjoying this so far, please hit the thumbs up here on YouTube. I really appreciate that. I'm trying to give you guys a lot of value here today and just kind of walk you through the steps. So the next step is to publish the book. So you've got your title, you've got your cover, you've got, you got your book, everything is ready to go. Now you've got to publish it on Amazon's platform. Now Amazon has a, a platform called KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. If you go to kdp.amazon.com, and I'll link these resources for you in the description. Ah, there's no www actually. There's kdp.amazon.com. Again, it's in the description. On this platform, free to sign up. Anyone can do it from anywhere in the world. And when you sign up for their platform, you can submit your book. Now, because I mentioned you want to publish a Kindle and paperback, it's very important to do both of these. I see a lot of people, they only do Kindle, but not paperback, and they're really leaving a lot of money on the table. I mean, think about it. You've already got the title, you've already got the cover, you've already got the content of the book. All you gotta do is just format it, and they actually have a, um, a, a, a formatting tool inside their platform that helps you with that, that helps you get it formatted for Kindle and paperback. But once you get it formatted, it, it only makes sense to publish it on both platforms because now you're, you're increasing the reach and the amount of money you're gonna make from that one book. You're leveraging yourself. So a lot of publishers, in my opinion, they shoot themselves in the foot. I've had many books, by the way, that didn't make any money on Kindle or just a little bit, but make way more money on paperback. It's crazy. Other books make very little on paperback, but do really, really well on Kindle. And if I didn't try both, I would have missed out on one or the other. So it just makes sense. Creating a, 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 I mean, um, a paperback version or hard, hardcover, you do need to have a back cover, so not just the front, but also the back. So there's a little bit more steps involved in that as well. Now, when you get everything ready, you can set the price. You can have your book available on every Amazon platform. You can have it available in Europe, in Canada, in the United States, all over and you can set the price for it. And a Kindle book will typically be um, you know, less than $10, typically. Um, and Amazon will pay you a royalty on every sale. 
Paperback book you can charge more money for. Now there is some expense involved in paperback because there's, uh, it's a print on demand service. So you don't have to have inventory for your book when someone orders the book from Amazon. Amazon ha handles everything for you. They print the book and ship it direct to the customer, hands off. You get the royalty from that automatically. They pay you out for that. Um, and so through that process though, um, it, it's just all, all kind of taken care for you, taken care for you by Amazon, which is really awesome. So that's the process of publishing the book. When you hit publish, so your paperback book can actually sell for more money and actually make you more money as a result of that, as a higher perceived value than just a Kindle version. Um, but once you get everything ready, you set the price, you hit publish, now your book is now available on Amazon within 24 hours. That's how fast it can happen and now it can be available to start getting sales. Now, a big mistake that people make and really the next step is to launch the book. You never want to just come up with a book. Now my book is available for sale. That's a, that's a, a huge missed opportunity. That would, you know, what would happen if uh, Apple just came up with the newest iPhone, didn't tell anyone about it? You know, they didn't build it up, they didn't build anticipation, they didn't build excitement, they didn't plant the seed. It wouldn't have a successful launch. Or what would happen if a movie just kind of came out in the movie theater, but they didn't release a trailer in advance to get people excited, to let them know it's coming so that the day that the product become, becomes available and launches, people are excited to go and buy it and benefit from it. And it really takes off in the box office and has success. It's the same thing with the book. You want to build a book launch. You want to have a strategy behind your book. A lot of people, they don't have a strategy. They just kind of go with the flow, they guess, they put something up there, and then they wonder why it doesn't sell. It's because they didn't have a strategy. They didn't think it through and come up with a, a game plan to have a lot of success early and fast when they first launched the book. You could have your book available for uh, pre-sale, so you can actually even collect orders and sales before it even becomes available if you wanted to. Um, but having a good strategy is important to get the word out there, to maybe build a list uh, people you can launch it to, to get people that have agreed to buy your book and leave a review for your book when your book then becomes available and that gives you traction early which Amazon loves. They're going to give you a boost on their platform because you're driving a lot of sales and getting reviews relatively, relatively quick. Now also Amazon does have um, some marketing tools for you. They allow you to do a free promotion for a Kindle book. That's valuable for a few days because even though you're not making sales from that, you're getting downloads and your downloads will boost your book and give it some benefit and maybe some reviews as well. They allow you to offer a limited time discount called a Kindle countdown deal on the book. They have a, a variety of tools that can help you as a publisher to market and get out your book. Okay? So now you've launched the book, but really the key step, this right here, I'm going to say that this is... 50%, even probably less, to be honest, of this whole process. Here is the other 50%, if not more. I think this is actually more important because you can do all of this and you can make money and do well with that, but this really is going to put fuel on the fire and the gasoline and allow all that to benefit. And that's, that's known as marketing. Okay. You gotta market your, your book, you gotta promote it, you gotta get it out there, you gotta do that work. Amazon's not gonna do that for you. Now here how, here's how Amazon's changed. Back in the day, you could just do this and get a book out there and make money from it. Okay, Amazon would do a lot of that for you. Today, it's more competitive, it's more saturated. And really the two ways that publishers market and sell their book on Amazon is either through Amazon search, because Amazon's a search engine. People go there, they type in a keyword, and they're gonna look for different books and products available. That's one of the ways they can find your book. Now, to do that though, you've got to optimize your book for that keyword. You've got to have it in the title, the description. You've got to really be great at over-optimizing your book and outcompete everyone else that's already trying to do that to rank for the same keyword. Very difficult. The other way is to pay Amazon money. You can run Amazon ads and you can target people, but depending on how big the niche is, it can be a little bit challenging to do that. And the problem is with those two methods is that every other publisher is doing the same thing. And so it's hard to stand out from that. And for me, the realization that I had is I took a step back and I said, okay, what would give me a competitive advantage over everyone else? And I realized Amazon, okay, Amazon has provided this opportunity for you. They've allowed you and I to publish for free on their platform, giving us so much benefit. And they're doing that, why? 
because they're hoping that we're going to go out there and publish a book, but then promote the book and sell the book, tell everybody about it, and that's going to funnel into the book on Amazon. People will buy it. Amazon makes some money, but really what Amazon wants is they want more customers. They want us to promote Amazon so more people sign up for Amazon, shop on Amazon, buy on Amazon for the rest of their life. That's how Amazon makes their money and how their business model works. And so realizing that I want to be in alignment with Amazon, I want to support Amazon because if I do that, they're going to love me, they're going to rank my books, promote my books, recommend them to other people, and I can have a lot of success from that. So the secret to marketing is to step outside of Amazon to learn the marketing strategies and skills outside of Amazon. Maybe it's building a blog. Now, if you think about it, people that read books, they enjoy reading. Well, that's also the same people that read blogs. So it's easier to convert someone that already enjoys reading blogs, articles, and then get them to buy your book. And when you have your own blog and your own website and you funnel them to your book, that's a way that you're getting sales to your Amazon book that your competitors are not getting. It gives you a competitive advantage and you, rank, you outrank them. You get more reviews and you're building a business that's not just dependent on Amazon. And then maybe you decide to build a YouTube channel or I don't know, maybe a podcast or maybe social media marketing, Facebook groups, Facebook page, Facebook ads, building a funnel, building an email list, you know, building a community, Instagram, Pinterest. There's so many strategies that are available. And when you tap into those strategies of marketing, you no longer, you no longer ever again have to really worry about competition and saturation. People that are worried about competition and saturation, they're, only, they're, they're focused on this. They're focused on five years ago. They're not focused on learning actually that the main skills and mastering what it takes to actually market a product online. And when you look at this way, these efforts of marketing, it's not just benefiting your book because if you only did all of that involved just to make money from a book, it's not that motivating. But when you instead realize that your book is one part of your business, that by building a blog or building social media, you can sell your book, yes, make some great money from that, but really you can then do affiliate marketing. Then you can promote physical products on Amazon. You can create a course. It opens up more opportunity for you rather than doing, you know, building a blog and doing all of that just to make some money selling your book. And so, that's the long-term vision and mindset you got to have. You start here, but you also learn the marketing because that's why I said this is, you know, really, I think is actually probably 80% to be honest with you. I would say if, I, if you were to apply the 80-20 principle and actually look at the books that are most successful, the books that are actually successful are not the best quality books, you know. It's the best marketed books. The best selling book is a book that sells really, really well. And there's many books out there that are great books. And by the way, when you learn these marketing skills, one thing that I teach now in my course, take these marketing skills, approach all of the books that have potential on Amazon, because many of these authors, writers, they have an amazing book, but they have no idea how to market it. That's where you can go in and provide a service to people as well and actually help them. And you get a cut of that and you help them sell and market their book. They did the hard work, created something, you just help them market it and get it out there. There's a huge, huge demand for that because think of how many books out there that are great that are just not selling. And so the way I look at it is ways to make money from Amazon, not just by publishing your book, not just being a writer and author, you can do that, publishing your own books and working with ghostwriters, but even taking the skills of what you've learned and building an actually publishing business and work with other authors and writers and you handle the publishing and marketing, which is 80%. That's why the traditional publishing companies take 80% and the authors only make 10 or 20%. That's how it works. So I love book publishing, but I think it's just expanding the mindset of how it works and understanding that model of how it works. Now, the other thing I want to mention too is you'd also want to publish an audio book. Okay? So that, there's more steps involved in that, but you've already got the title, the cover, the book, the content. Now you just need an audio version. You can hire someone to do that for you as well. Now your book's available in multiple platforms, which allows diversified income, multiple streams of income. And then you can take this process, you could repeat it and publish more books. It's kind of like if you're the builder of a house, it's a, it's a lot of work to build a house. I mean, if you're doing everything yourself and you're doing the flooring, the framing, the plumbing, the electric, you know, electricity, the drywall, the roofing, all of that, it's going to take you a long time. But instead, if you hire an electrician, a plumber, a roofer, a painter, and you're the foreman, you're the manager of that, 
Now that gives you the ability to build five houses at the same time because you're not working in it, you're working on it. When you build a publishing business, you can publish five books, 10 books, as many books as you want and scale that up. But you've got to have a great system for that. And it just starts, I'm going pretty advanced here, but these are the beginning steps of learning these skills. But these skills apply to every business and are incredibly valuable. So listen, I hope this video has really helped you and you understand more about this process and how to get started with it. Um, I mean, if you want more step-by-step -step instruction and guidance from me, I created two courses I'd love to share with you. I'll link to them in the description. They're brand new courses. I'm really excited about them. One is called Mastering Book Publishing. You can learn about that at www.masteringbookpublishing.com. The other one's called Mastering Book Marketing www.masteringbookmarketing.com and this one really goes into the marketing strategies outside of Amazon to build your funnel, your list and, and give you that competitive advantage so that you don't have to worry about competition saturation. Mastering Book Publishing covers the process that I outlined here for you. So check out those programs if you want to learn more, if you want to get started with it. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe here at Project Life Mastery for more videos on publishing books, building an online business, marketing, and self-development. Thank you so much. God bless you, and I'll see you again in the next video.